My PhD is about the use of time-resolved X-ray scattering to study the photo-induced dynamics of transition metal complexes in solution. And these complexes are inorganic molecules, which contain uh, at least one metal atom. And when they are excited, so they go into the excited states, they have uh, special properties so they can use in applications such as solar energy conversion or catalysis uh, or uh, water splitting. So there'll be two contributions on top of this guy here. Yeah. And here we would have the clean sequel with only one contribution. Okay. To, to do this kind of experiment, we use these facilities that are called X-ray free electron lasers. And currently there are two of them like working around the world. And one is in Japan and one is in California. So one of the most exciting part of my PhD was to travel to these places actually to perform the experiment. It's a lot of work, but it's also like the frontier of science happening around you. And another good experience that I had during my PhD was my external stay at the University of Stanford, which is close to one of these X-ray free electron lasers. While I was there, I participated to three experiments and uh, we did a really good science. It was a fantastic experience and uh, it was really stimulating, I think. I have uh, results uh, both related to the technique that we are developing, so this I'm resolved X-ray scattering, and then also on the systems that we are investigating with this technique. About the systems, for instance, we investigated the photo-induced dynamics of a cobalt complex in solution and we could see vibrational dynamics happening at the femtosecond time scale. That means that we could see the molecules breathing after the spin state transition. And we published the results and they are really nice results because it's the first time that people have reported this observation with this technique.